Hello friends, I'm Cat Loafing. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I decided that I want to do a craft. Um, and y'all will just indulge me, okay? Um, I want to make a mushroom hat like a mushroom top hat. I've seen a couple of these on TikTok before, like from, oh, I can't remember her name, but pictures, there you go, um, with the power of editing. And I really love it, but I am scared. <laughs> I am scared, but sometimes you see something on the internet and you're like, oh, I want that and the only way I can really get this is by making it so over here I have some felt and a shirt and cardboard and paint and all that and I'm going to see what I can do hopefully this doesn't turn out to be a horrible mess <laughs> um, I'm gonna try my best <laughs> but hopefully the final results will be um, wearable Wish me luck. Um, the best way that I think that this would work out video-wise is if I just do a voiceover of what I'm doing. So, um, here you go. Okay, so starting off, I have three pieces of red felt, and I also have two pieces of a small cream-colored felt. And then also for the bottom, I have a cream colored t-shirt that I bought from Michaels. This is where my mistake starts. Um, and then I'm just using a cardboard box. I took the cardboard box and I cut all of the tape so that, so that I can lay it out all flat and I can pick out one square and cut that one out so that it is by itself. So now in a kindergartner-like fashion, I am figuring out where the middle of the cardboard is. Um, I just used my fingers and picked um, the middle out. Um, and then for some reason, I decided that so I wouldn't lose the middle, I stabbed the pen through the cardboard so that I could pick a good, I could remember where it was. Now I am using another pen and a piece of string to draw a circle around the cardboard and then cutting that circle out. I had a hard time using the scissors so I started using the X-Acto knife. Um, please be careful with the X-Acto knife, do not do it the way that I am doing it. Um, a lot of people get hurt doing it the way that I'm doing it because I'm cutting it towards my body. But as you can see, I cut out a almost circle. Um, looks kind of lumpy, but that's okay. Um, and now I'm just placing it on my head and I'm basically just drawing a circle around my head. This is not a very um, professional way to do it. Um, this is just the way that I did it because I don't really care. Um, and this is probably why it came out kind of meh. And now I'm taking the X-Acto knife and I am cutting out the circle that I just drew for my head. And then just um, cutting around the edges to make it look a little bit more even um, because I 
measured it to my head and it did not go on. So here's me trying on the cardboard, just like the little disc part. Um, it goes on my head, but there are some gaps, but I don't really bother to fix it. And then I marked the back and the front. This has been very helpful to me. Um, and then I am very extremely dangerously cutting out a strip of cardboard so that I can use it to um, support the hat. And I'm placing it on my head and then I am taking a pen and marking where my ears were on the sides and where I would like for the ends to go. And then I am Gorilla Gluing the cardboard to the cardboard strip. Okay, so I took this t-shirt, already cut off the sleeves, and I am sewing the armholes shut, but I'm only sewing one of them for some reason. Don't ask me why I thought that this was the way to do it, but this is how I did it. Um, this will cause problems later. So I placed the neck hole around the hole that I made in the cardboard for my head and I glued the fabric to the, um, the cardboard, but it took me a couple of steps to get there because I tried to sew it to the cardboard and that didn't really work. Um, and then I tried Gorilla Glue and that didn't really stay. So um, I tried sewing again and I couldn't, I just couldn't get it through the cardboard. So eventually I gave up and I just resorted to hot glue. Just hot glue and that baby on. I feel like a lot of craft people are going to cringe at me right now because apparently using hot glue is not a well-liked thing, but it is useful when you are desperate. So I'm over here cutting off the excess fabric around the headpiece. Um, there's a lot more excess fabric later, but I um, am gluing the end of the fabric to the outside of the cardboard and making it so that it wraps around all of the cardboard and doesn't cover it up. All right, so here I am picking places where there is too much excess fabric and I am cutting down the middle and then hot gluing the, the fabric back to the hat um, and then cutting off any excess fabric. And then um, I'm gluing some more excess fabric into the top and then here I am laying some extra fabric over the, um, the space that um, got reattached, um, but I am going to try it on now, so here you go. So I think it didn't turn out too bad. Um, I might go in with some paint and like make some, some of my own you know, lines. I tried to do it with fabric, but it didn't really work out. Um, so yeah, I think that it's time for the red part. Um, as you can see in the video, I did burn myself twice. Once on my little fingertip and once here. Um, that's just kind of the hazards of using a glue gun. So I think I'm gonna continue to try to make the, the red part and hopefully that goes 
at least a little bit better. <laughs> but anyway, um, back to crafting. All right, so I just kind of laid the felt on the hat and then kind of eyeballed it. I think that this is why it turned out looking kind of flat, but um, I cut it out and then I, um, yeah, hot glued all of the pieces to the hat and it did not record, but here's me trying it on. And um, I glued a little circle of fabric onto the top to kind of hide where all of the pieces fit together. And then here I am drawing some felt little circles to go on the hat and then I am gluing them on. And then here is a Snapchat video of me trying it on. Yes, I still use Snapchat sometimes. All right, so I was not satisfied with the white dots made out of felt, so I decided that I was gonna paint on my own. So I started with just dotting it about and then um, I came in and like kind of sprinkled it with my finger and the paint on the brush so that it would look more natural and less like I painted it on. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is the end. I'm gonna change my clothes and go do my makeup and like take some pictures and stuff. And I will meet you back here for like talking about the project, you know, <laughs> okay? So. So, it's not bad. Something that I have noticed is that wearing it for a long time kind of makes my head hurt, but like it's cardboard, so that doesn't really matter. I um, wish that it wasn't so flat. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can really do about that. It does look very homemade. Um, I do not, I don't hate it. It looks cute in pictures. It's just kind of hard to get an angle where you can like still see the underside and the top. Um, but that, you know, that might just be my photography skills being. But I do think it is cute regardless. Or this like stayed up, but that's where like the creases and the cardboard. I should have planned this better. <laughs> I should have, um, but I think that it's really cute and I don't think that anybody's going to be following this tutorial, so um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video at least and watched me like kind of fail at making a mushroom hat. Um, if you would like to leave a like and subscribe that would be great um, and I will be posting more soon. Um, I do have a couple of other videos planned, so I hope to see you soon, and uh, thanks for watching!